Welcome back! In the previous section, we saw the main concepts that make up the phase of inventory analysis, and in this section, therefore, we will move on to the next stage of LCS study, which is impact assessment. Using our knowledge model, let's dig up the description of this activity. And here, quite importantly, we are told that impact assessment assesses the impact of a product system. The activity has sub-activities, it has deliverables, it also precedes the lifecycle interpretation stage, and it requires some impact assessment approach. This is clearly captured through the relations and concepts we have in the model. For instance, we have relations like assesses impact of, is sub-activity of, precedes, etc., joining the concept impact assessment to other concepts in the model, like product system, and so on. So, what we're particularly after in this phase of LCA is the whole idea of the impact, and in order to figure out what the environmental impact is, we need to consider a number of things. Firstly, we need to be able to qualify and quantify impact. That's why in our LCA knowledge model, for quantification purposes, we have the concepts of magnitude, unit of measure, and the statement that the magnitude quantifies some item in LCA. Pretty straightforward stuff. Next, we need a suitable LCA tool that the impact assessment phase can utilize. In practice, for conducting impact assessment, you have a choice of different tools you can apply, like the so-called Eco Indicator 99, EPS, which is short for Environmental Priority Strategies, and other ones too. For instance, it could be some comprehensive approach supported by the Simopro software, which we'll make use of in the case of the kettle example. And thirdly, we also need a number of sub-activities of impact assessment to come to life. We'll start off with impact category selection, which is basically the process of choosing the impact categories to consider in this study. You would recognize some of these examples of impact categories like greenhouse, ozone layer, ecotoxicity, acidification, and so on. These are the ones we will consider when evaluating the environmental performance of our TFL kettle. Comprehensive impact assessment methods supported in, for instance, the CMOPRO software can allow you to select from a number of impact categories. However, this does not necessarily mean that you need to include all of them in your LCS study. Here, for the assessment of the TFL kettle, we've limited ourselves to eight important impact categories, deemed sufficient for the scope of the LCA. We then have the concept called classification, which is the activity of itemizing various elementary flows that represent emissions and extractions to and from the environment. Furthermore, this activity specifies the classified elementary flows, in other words, identifying where these elementary flows participate in the impact categories. For example, this is a sample of information where we've identified four elementary flows, their implicated amounts, and marked their participation in three impact categories. In practice, product systems will have several of these elementary flows, maybe even in the hundreds, depending on the nature of the product system and LCA scope in question.